Hey, hey, hey. How's everybody Howdy, doing tonight? Well, it's a, it's a Friday. That it is. Ready to get into it? Uh, yeah, if everyone else is mm -hmm. here. They're not, but I'm sure that two of you can do, the three of you can do some chatty batty while we're waiting it out. I will cause problems on purpose. I would expect no less. Understandable. Have a nice day. Oh wow, wow. there's more, uh, more rifted drawings. I see. I should probably put those on the uh, background tabs so that they don't get, you know, murdered. Yeah. I want to not move Rex to the back. It sounds like a shitty name for a band. Rack to the back. True. So, <clears throat> I guess on the morning following the previous night's discussions, um, I guess while they're having breakfast in the Mercenaries Guild lore, because he's going to approach Sternhoff, Morning, Lorik. Say, do you think you'll be up for traveling to Tarnos, Pem? Sure. Good. I... Feels like lately we've had so many people, you know, right? <clears throat> yeah, I know what you mean. I guess I'm just going to come right out and say it. Why have you stayed all this time? I'm not questioning your loyalty, I just... I want to know why you can implicate yourself with us when you've had all these opportunities to not have to deal with us anymore. Not have to deal with this. He thinks for a moment, and then starts. Well, you know that my teacher sent me here to fulfill the last of his teachings and research, so... I would like to think of it as fate, really. Nothing more, nothing less. But if you're trying to... Fulfill his legacy, master his teachings, wouldn't it be more practical to not implicate yourself in this kind of situation? With. Guys, <sighs> I suppose it would be. But, you know, I've never really been an adventurer. And if an opportunity presents itself, you shouldn't just squander it, you know? Hmm. Plus, it's been fun sometimes. It wasn't always like... Uh, it just seems like the good times always get interrupted. Yeah. You could say that again. If there does come an end to this, 
What do you intend to do afterward? He shrugs. I guess when that end comes, if I haven't reached the end of his research and figured out and finalized it myself, then I'll keep continuing to do that. have you by our side, Schwinhoff. It's nice Thank to you. have someone who I can bounce ideas off of when necessary. Of course. And I'm glad I met you guys in the tavern that day. Hmm. Wouldn't be the same. Being in Octorum, doing research all day long. I suppose it wouldn't really be the same, would it? No. Well, it wouldn't. Well, for one, I think you would have had an easier time. Most likely, but... It's good for these old bones to get some movement every once in a while. Hmm. No, I don't think that... Any of us can really stay still or in one place too long, can we? No. Ah, I see you're up. Is we hate assume hate is not up. <laughs> it appears oh. that hate is not up. It's oh, absolutely hate is up. not. Hate is drowsy. <laughs> I stayed up all night casting a spell and healing my oh well, healing myself with multiple spells and then casting another spell. So <gasps> please tell me you didn't attempt to plane shift to find that thing. Oh, well, eventually I shall have information for us. The plane shifting will come later. Well, if the information ends up being useful, then I suppose it was worth it. Yeah, that's my hope as well. Hmm. Otherwise, it would have been the most money I've ever seen spent on Talking to people I talk to every night anyway. <laughs> so, today is the day that we start out to Tarnos Pem. Hi. Yes, I... I'm sorry that my initial plan to get us there a bit faster didn't work. Turns out casting multiple plane shifts would have been more expensive than just teleporting there in the first place. And we don't have the teleportation circle for Tarnos Pem anyway. Yeah. The complicated nature of remembering that you can't always rely on magic. Speaking At of, least I was going not to... your own. Speaking of, when Darius gets up, I intend to uh, find out if he can actually cast that spell to bind the celestial in well, a horse's form. See if we can get there faster with two horses pulling the cart rather than just one. That would be very useful. Mm. 
Does anyone want to take a trip to the market and actually get some good trail food for the first time in... She stops and just kind of trails off. Are you implying that my cooking doesn't make for good trail food? Your cooking is kind of limited to when we're, you know, stopped and able to set up for cooking. Trail food is what you eat while you're sitting in the carriage being pulled by the horses. Also, you know, it's probably a wonder that we haven't been attacked while you're cooking far more often. I just got a very bad sense from some direction that I put some horrible information out into the universe, and I apologize. No, I could give you that idea. I think I have at least a couple of horribly evil people <laughs> to consult yeah. with on a relative basis. Well, in any case, I wouldn't be opposed to heading out into the markets. You all also need some backup non-magical weapon of a slightly higher caliber. If this situation ever happened again. I have, I have my hand axe if I ever need to do anything of that sort. Or if I need to hit something out of range. He kind of looks at the hand axe, and you can immediately see that this is one of those, like, in her mind, a weapon that's underneath a certain size isn't really a weapon. <laughs> and then she shrugs. It's not my ideal weapon either, but it is practical for multiple purposes. You know, it would be interesting to see if they could design a similarly air, like, throwable weapon, but of a much larger size. Perhaps, although I failed to really see the advantage, you wouldn't be able to get as much force on the throw. Purely the intimidation after it lands in your enemy, and then, well, one, you just threw it, so they now see your strength, and two, a battle axe hanging out of you is far more of a notable moment than a... <laughs> she gestures <laughs> vaguely. In the direction of his hand axe. It doesn't really matter if they're about to be dead anyway. You could be surprised. The, the intimidation is usually for their allies, though, so you have a fair point. And if that fails, I have ways of intimidating people other than that. Um, so, this brings up an interesting topic. We're usually facing other combatants of similar skill, but if we were ever to be facing far weaker opponents, do you think it's prudent to attempt to hold back our blows? We could still win, most likely, but then we could minimize the loss of life, per se. Note, I'm being very specific when I say we, because I don't think this sentiment would pass on to most of the other members that we adventure with. 
<laughs> you mean say Nox, don't you? Yes. I mean, as you'll recall, Doppler intends to head north, and uh, as I recall, Aquila was considering joining him. Sure. <clears throat> It is. It's also interesting to be this. This is probably the group I have spent the third longest with so far. It is interesting to me to not be. To have stayed long enough to see others leave. I suppose I should take that as some kind of compliment, then. suppose so. I was more saying how it's strange to me. I'm not one for goodbyes of a... non-self-imposed nature. Goodbyes where you're not the one leaving. Yeah. Yes. Speaking of, do you... Uh think that you'll be with us for the foreseeable future, then? Depends quite heavily on news that I need to receive from my order. <laughs> I don't want to leave anything here unfinished, though, so for the foreseeable future, regardless, I'll try to be here. And I suppose that even if you do have to leave us, you'll end up finding us in some strange way or another, like you usually do. Oh, it'll be glorious. If I do leave, I'll make sure to come back with puppies for all of us. I would very much rather that you didn't. I wasn't saying that was up to a vote. Nor I. <laughs> Please, I already have one pet. I mean, companion. The implication that you travel with another being of any less sentience than yourself is frankly insulting. I know, that's why I called him our companion. Good. Just making sure that that slip doesn't happen again. <laughs> Well, if you two make sure that Nox doesn't get himself into more trouble, I have to speak with Shrakt for a bit. I'll do my best. He Thank seems you. to listen to me more often than not. Well, accompany and listen to anything that Schoenhoff says. In regard to this specific manner. Well, hey, if you'd like to accompany me, then you're welcome to. I doubt that they would outright stop you from coming along. Well, that also sounds interesting. Now it seems like I'm just... Choosing to not hang out with my best friend, Strunhoff. <laughs> friend. Are we not friends here? Are we all just... I'm kidding. Companions? Don't all overthink right. it too much. <laughs> you know, it's strange, but since being with most of you, not overthinking things has been a new development in my life. Same here. I think I'll accompany you. Let's see what happens. Does the party proceed? Or do they continue to discuss here? Oh. Yeah. Uh, unless uh, Sternhoff had anything you wanted to bring up? I'm good. Okay. 
Well then, I leave the care of this building in your hands. Please make sure that it doesn't burn down while we're away. No promises. I will admit, it was quite strange looking up and seeing places on fire. I'd prefer my bed doesn't do that. Hmm. Well, as I recall, Shrak spent the evening in the barracks in the upper city. Shall we? After you. Hmm. And Lork leads the way to the upper city. <laughs> Excuse me. That's not good at all. He's got the Rona. No, I really Please wish you didn't die. say that. Oh, shit. Are, are you actually worried that that's what's happening? or? Not exactly, but... Okay. Sorry about that. It can, it can always go poorly. Things can that always get worse. That is true. I However, things can also always get better. Most of the Look time. at this optimist here. Thanks. You the real one. At Lork this point, the... the guards have seen you well enough to let you by even with uh, Hate in tow. Speaking of which, uh, Hate is not in tow. Hold on. About to say, uh, I'm not on this map. Excuse me? I was going to say that the guards are probably some of the NPCs that know Lork the best at this point. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Considering how often they've seen him. Bop. There we go. Hates waving as she walks in tow. Yeah, Lork offers each of them a nod. They uh, pay you little attention, but definitely look semi-suspiciously at Hate as they walk by. Bringing attention to myself tends to have that effect on people. That's why I do it. <laughs> I'd say something special about fighting prejudices, but honestly, I think I've earned my reputation at this point. But perhaps you earned more than that reputation as... Well, I don't know what I'm trying to say here, but you have been a good friend and uh, a valuable ally. It's something to be said that deserters are rarer among my people than yours. And by yours, I generally mean the entire population of non-orcs, but... <laughs> I would have said the Empire. Also works. I'd say it also applies to Dragonborn, apparently. <laughs> it was two times. Mm-hmm. You say that. Honestly, this campaign has been a lot of, um, deserting and backstabbing. I'm not gonna lie. And to be fair, Rifter's literal job is to stab people in the literal back. Characters, we're the good guys. Also characters, regicide and toppling the order, uh, murdering people who are friends, etc. We've got the good guys. They're the good guys. But Laura knocks on the door as he approaches uh, Shrak and the guard. It is open. Upon oh, opening. He's gonna knock on the open door. Yes. No, 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 no. Excuse me. It is okay. unlocked. Uh, excuse me. Oh, okay. I'm coming. Ah, oh, Thor. <sighs> How do you do? Good morning. Well, morning. that's actually what I intended to speak to you about. Myself and my companions are going to be leaving for Tarnos Pem in the very near future, and I just wanted to lay out a contingency. If 
something goes awry on our mission, I am placing you at the head of the Arcturum expedition. And he... should that come to pass, you may do with that title whatever you wish. He makes a move on the dragon chess board that he uh, is playing with the guard. Of course. Thank you, I'm honored. And thank you for aiding us these past few days. It is my duty. As he makes a uh, another strong move. Guard is... Uh, He's kind of grasping his head in his hands as he's just looking at the board state and taking a little bit of time processing it. Can I make some kind of roll to uh, uh, offer the guard uh, a move? Like if you, a wisdom roll or something like that? I mean, if you would like to. Uh, would it be wisdom or intelligence? What would you prefer? It depends on which uh, way you're going about it. Lorik would like to uh, use wisdom because he's probably like trying to figure out what Shrak's strategy is mm -hmm. and going off that to offer a suggestion to the guard. Sure. Oof. You start <laughs> yeah, I, to I make one. Yeah, I make his board state worse. <laughs> you start to make one, and luckily for the guard, uh, unknowingly, Shrak says, "Uh, uh, no cheating." Fair enough. I would like to look over the board state and see if I could win myself, not without without in giving any of the information away at all. <laughs> Go ahead and give me an investigation. Normal roll. <laughs> you think pretty highly of yourself, right? Yeah. Yeah, you think you could take him. Do you think you could yeah, take him in, like, his current spot? Probably not, because the guard kind of messed up a lot, but seeing how Shrek plays, you think... You think maybe you could beat him? We'll file that information away at a later date. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta figure out the tactical weak points of all of the people coming into power. <laughs> well, he makes another move that, uh, he's just tightening the grip on the guards place and he says will that be all lork hi thank you for your time glory oh. to the highborn of course glory to the highborn like you know walks out <laughs> very quickly doesn't realize doesn't know if she should or shouldn't also say this as she leaves <laughs> would she like to ask absolutely not damn i will ask Loric later. I see. Yeah, you know, if we didn't have to cross the entire empire so much, I might be interested in getting a a set for the house. But as it is, I think it would see more use as a paperweight than an actual dragon chest set. I think it would see more use as a paperweight regardless, just with the other people who live in the house. I don't wouldn't play it, but it might be interesting to match what's against some of the others. It is an interesting game. Hi. Imagine a thousand years down the line once people have played it for a millennia and can actually kind of learn all there is to learn from it. How would how would that skill compared to today? Hey, I think you may be overestimating people. A game with as many moving parts as Dragon Chess probably can't be solved like that. Fair enough. Although some claim to have solved warfare. And I feel as though that's a couple of degrees more complicated. <laughs> I and have they actually solved it. Arguable at best. <laughs> exactly. Be a far more terrifying prospect, someone who has actually solved warfare. Oh, 
I suppose it would depend if they intended to use it for the sake of war, or solving it so you didn't have to engage in it. Actually, someone would want something that their neighbor had. If somebody had truly solved war, either there would be such excess that no one could ever want for what another had, and which is another vaguely terrifying thought. But alternatively, someone has just implemented a social order in which only they have any true claim of force. New places like to have right now, but not here. It's strange to think that we live in a world where a person can dedicate themselves to a cause so hard that the gods will grant them power. But the people who can do that are so rare that we still get the concentration of power that we see. I might have a com- I might have to have a conversation with some people about this. Have you ever considered that some of these icons might be perpetuating that exact scarcity just so that they can see things unfold with it? There's a non There's a agreement between some of them, different members of certain pantheons that minimize the amount of effort that the they can exert on the world, which includes empowering people. Purely so that the game stays fair. Which, I'm sure you can guess my thoughts on that. I can guess mine. People with power seem to universally be the worst people to have it. Which is a strange thought to have as people who are slowly amassing their own power. Uh, But maybe we'll be different. Maybe, or maybe not. If we are not, someone else will eventually come up and knock us down like we have knocked down. She kind of like trails off. No, no. That thought. So, did you want to check back in with the others first, or did you want to head to the market? See if anything burned down while we were done. I suppose that's fair. Oh, I should hope we weren't gone for that long. You have a very poor imagination of how quickly fires can spread. <gasps> No, I don't know from yesterday, but I should hope that Strunhoff is better at Hey Lord, managing. would you mind giving me a uh, history check? Okay. History check, you say? I do. Fire is hot. Yep. Hot only a two? Yeah. Fire do be hot, though. Fire sometimes makes things turn into ash. Any lower and its fire is cold. (laughs) (laughs) Well, cold at a certain amount causes the same amount of damage as fire. Mm -hmm. (laughs) You know, cold's really relative. In the whole grand scheme of things, most fire is cold. (laughs) I hate it here. Yeah, I'm glad. I'm pretty sure the average temperature home. of the universe is actually closer to zero than it is closer to hotter than fire, but, you know, fair point. Mm-hmm. <laughs> did I say most things, or did I say a lot of things? I think you said I... most things. Oh, well. Penis. Hey, 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 you can't use that kind of language on this platform. Sure I can. Who do you think you are? The Senate? 
Is there any Hi. proper clipping on that wall there? I don't think so. Possibly? Oh, no, 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 okay. Akla's just looking at it? Okay. Sure enough, I, I take it things went well hmm. while we were gone. Yeah, nothing, uh, nothing out of the ordinary today. And the others are still asleep? I would assume so. I haven't seen them come down. Huh. Look, be honest, if it wasn't for the fact that I am going to need to spend a, quite a lot of time getting my spells back, I wouldn't wake this early either. Frankly, I usually wake this early to ensure that everything is really taken care of. You know, it's an interesting thought. If we were a proper regiment, I'm not sure that you would actually be the field commander. I think you'd be far more suited for a logistics role. And then, you know, taking the field yourself as an independent warrior. Frankly, I think I would hate that kind of backline logistics role. Most people hate things that they're very good at. And imagine our group. Who else would you want in charge of that? She stops and then also quickly adds, because I would refuse. Strunov seems to have done a decent enough job. I guess if it was up to me, I would take it. But we need the magical artillery and the research. I could also work in all of that. Doppler might be another decent choice if he were still uh, with us. You know, I would, but wouldn't it be so much nicer to have him on the field with his various talents? Hmm. Doppler just kind of looks up and at the two of you while he's eating breakfast. I can sometimes almost hear his voice. <laughs> just shakes his head and goes back to eating. And, as I've heard it recounted from some of the others, that time that you all were in Chabalo, Darius did a fairly good job of keeping the party from making too much of a mess of things. Although, as I understand it, the situation was already a bit of a mess by the time you got there. You could say now, that. That's... Darius is an interesting one. I could absolutely see him leading from the front of a battle, but also I could see him standing behind one and making sure that um, the war is won and not just the battle. You two are alike in that regard, I guess. the resemblance there, but it of course would be the attached chaplain. I uh, would be running all of our wonderful religious sermons and praying to the gods for our success before battle. And then I would charge forward. Now, did you mean praying to or yelling at? If you are being attended by my people, those are one and the same. Fair point. God, when are the others even going to get up? 
hopefully today. Hmm? Hopefully uh, today. Out of character. Since, okay, hopefully today. Since we're planning to leave. Oh, yeah. Now, wouldn't that be horrible? They've been visited by a nightmare on the day before. On the night before, we were supposed to leave on a journey. Yeah, that sounds almost familiar. <sighs> Akala is eating with Doppler. Darius and Nox are both still upstairs. Uh, excuse me. Before, before we head out. Spell mm. components to get before... Let's, before we start on the road. Let's see. I'll actually have to think about that one. I every time I get blessed with a new tier of magic, I have to figure out exactly what I want to ask for all over again. I complain more, but I understand that I am actually of the more lucky when it comes to this. As I can still pick and choose. Lucky you. Seems uh, strange to, to have to ask for your spells. Is it? The thing that I find stranger is that it's hard for... It's hard to explain to other people that the spells I cast aren't really me. Most people, most people who use magic, it's something they've either learned, something a part of them, or something that they've pulled from the world around them through sheer force of will. Very few people explicitly get their magic cast through them and not by them. Must be a strange feeling. Sometimes I feel as though I'm suffering from imposter syndrome. Most of my contributions are actually someone else's. When it comes to magic, at least. Although, I'm still the one choosing when to use it and how to use it. It's... And it's also one of those things where as much as I denigrate the people above us and below us, that's where my power comes from. philosophical theory that if those in power let you say disparaging and challenging things against them, you aren't actually challenging them. Because otherwise they would just use their power and stop you. This assumes a certain level of self-interest and not respecting the freedoms of other people, but... Well... Those... When do those in power actually care about the freedoms of others? I, I count not for quite a long time. Well, 
Just so I try to use my gifts to help people. And... I'll say my piece, and I will yell at people who need yelling at. And when they eventually decide to revoke my powers from me, that will be the greatest sign that I have finally won. In my books, anyway. You know, if you had been born among my people, I think you would have been one of the greatest of the Triumphists. Oh. Why do you think that? That exact attitude right there. I can see it. At least... I can see why you would make that statement. It's interesting. In my people... This attitude tends to make you a war chief or dead. Because you've challenged a war chief you shouldn't have challenged. He stops for a second and then adds, Actually, I realize that I say my people, but in that regard, I think it works for both halves. I suppose you're right. People are nothing if not impulsive. It is a very interesting world that we have the fortune of living in. Still going to force you all to attempt to take care of some puppies. Large ice puppies that breathe fire. I'm good. Absolutely will not hate. I <laughs> I'm with hate on this one. Yeah, but you're not even in the scene. I'm in every scene, bitch. Oh my god, he's Slork IRL. <laughs> I mean, frankly, where would we even house them? We set up a stable gate between our plane and theirs. And then we stable them on the other side. This idea is sounding worse and worse by the moment. Why? We could get... We could hire a bunch of... Wires, they could get real combat experience guarding the plane. Honestly, this seems like a wonderful thing. That guard from yesterday would be my first pick. I worry about you sometimes, Hate. I have openly expressed so many of my random thoughts that if you didn't worry about me, I would be worrying about you. Gods, what is taking them so long today? We check on them. <sighs> Fine, if you do that, I will attempt to summon the first steed. I'll meet you back here if they're still not up by the time I'm finished. I'll try and find a less populated area to commence my communion. <laughs> Lorik is going to go off to where the party uh, kept the um, the cart so he can cast Fine Steed. I think that was turned off that he was going to do that.
guild what? Fitness. Uh. Uh, I ponder letting Darius sleep a bit longer, noticing that he's still actually there. Whoops, I was missing. muted on my uh, stream. Uh, so, Darius is still asleep despite it being very late in the day, and on Nox's bed there is simply a note that reads it Guild Bidness. Yeah, like, okay, I got that part. Uh, I, I debate letting Darius sleep a bit longer, seeing that he's actually there and not missing. But I decided to go over and wake him. He is cold. Cold? Cold. That's a problem. Uh... Hmm. Is there anything oh. in the room I can start a fire with? Let's run off we remember the amulet, right? Would you not like to make a history check? Yeah, I think he would. Yeah, he would. Uh, he took his amulet off to sleep for some stupid reason. <laughs> uh, do I see it somewhere yes. by the bed, perhaps on a nightstand? Yes, okay. you do. I'm gonna, I, will, I will take his amulet and place it back over his uh, his head onto his neck. After a couple of seconds, he starts shivering and then just kind of pulls the sheets over himself more and rolls over. You've been sleeping a while, I say, as I start making my way out of the room. Yeah. And just, like, settles to get more comfortable. I better not have to come back up here. <laughs> and, uh, I take the note off of Rifter's bed and make my way back downstairs. Da -da -da -da. Downstairs you go. Hey, why are you in the fountain? Why aren't you? Not in entirely fountain? certain. Let's find out. Oh jeez. <laughs> Interesting. If I walk over the edge of the fountain, I enter the fountain. How peculiar. You know, fair enough. Say she f she saw a fancy coin and wanted to see the make and mintage. How superb. What an outstanding citizen. She left it in the fountain. Yes. Because she does not steal. Uh, I'm aware you did not say you took it. It was a curiosity, not a greed, I understand. Ah, so a dire, not a rifter. Hmm. I... I have the sin of a lust for knowledge, not the sin of greed. I'm trying to come up with some joke to say that either Darius or Loric are more curious than Dyer, but it's not going over. <sighs> well, once Loric makes it to the cart, he's going to start the process of casting Fine Steed. Okay. It happens. Usually intelligent, strong, and loyal. Wait, quick question. If you summon a Mastiff, is it still a large size Mastiff? Probably. Uh, uh probably normal. The only alteration it says to make the stat block is increasing its int to 6, if I'm not mistaken. If it has, yeah, raising it to 6. Mm -hmm. Yep.
Ja. Man, I knew Evan wasn't going to be here today, but where the hell is Chad? Where the hell is Chad? He is online. He is online, yeah. and he was there for the other stream. Yeah. And he's just like, fucking my playing Heroes of the Storm. Whoa. Oh, cringe. Cringe. I'm going to boot up my B-Net and laugh at him. Hey, you. Like this. Why are you in try mode? Minimize. Anyway, Lorik steps out as he sees Hate staring at a coin she is holding in the middle of the fountain, or, well, halfway to the center of the fountain before dropping it and walking out of the fountain. You know, I'm not even going to ask. That's not even the third strangest thing I've seen you do. Would be worried if it was in the top ten. I I'm going to thaumaturgically uh, dry myself. Understandable. It is done. Lork is going to shake his head as he walks past. So not a history this time, but let's do a wisdom, hey? Ooh, just pure wisdom? Uh, you can apply your, like, proficiency to it, so that's so you can make it a save. You, but we'll consider it an ability check that has your proficiency added. Ooh. Alright. Oh, you don't need that plus one. No. My will to live. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, good old. You forgetting I have that on there. <laughs> Wait a minute, you have a will to live? <laughs> it's named semi-ironically, okay? <laughs> mm. In a slightly less ironic way, uh, yeah, water is in fact wet, and there does seem to be some correlation between water being wet and uh, fire being hot. <laughs> In thaumaturgy getting your uh, water off of you. You know what? I'll accept this. <laughs> I'll accept this wonderful bit of information and completely keep it to myself. Understandable. It'll go into my mental diary of all the things that I'll need to keep track of when I am taking care of my giant ice fire dog. Man, I'm trying really hard to like get some world building in. It's just like, nah. <laughs> All right, you know, you make a wonderful point. Um, I'm gonna go try and steal all of the information, all the uh, gold necessary to cast Plane Shift, Sounds and good. take the party <laughs> and take the party to the Ice Blade. Hell yeah! Wait, what? What? <laughs> I was like, okay, good. He, he's finally gonna do the communion and cast Legend Lord. And I'm like, wait, wait, that one? <laughs> You're doing that one right now? <laughs> I thought he already cast Legend Lore and was just waiting on the response. Yeah, I flavored it as though I did it last night and just told them, "Don't you don't have to tell me until the morning, because I need to go to bed. And so, uh, just whenever you're ready for that, huh? Um, okay, who are you? I assume you have to do a shakedown because you don't have enough money on you, right? I already, um, um, the people who specifically said they were giving me money were, uh, I got right, 11 gold. Happen. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I got some money from the party. <laughs> Could you imagine hate just shaking down random people in town and people just accept it? I mean, they're an orc. They're probably an enforcer anyway. Yeah. 
I'm not saying anything bad. Your shop thaumaturgy causes lightning to go off as she's speaking. I'm just saying I need the money. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, would you describe to me a little bit about what your plan is? Because obviously, oh. being the DM, I have an understanding of your character's motivations. Well, it's quite simple. I want to see if by getting information about who this scion is, um, that we could, it would then make it either easier to track them, easier to figure out their general motives, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Like oh, I was the talking idea, about the plane shift part. Oh, the plane. Oh no, I'm not actually going to do that. Oh, right okay. okay. <laughs> I was, I was confused. I'm like, uh, uh no, 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 you're good, you're good. I'm not gonna. <laughs> I knew it was going to be a little off session where we did something different, but I didn't expect you guys to do that. <laughs> Listen, I still have the sigil of the doggo plane, and oh, I yeah. am so happy that I preemptively received this. But no, I'm not. I don't have the money to actually go to pl another plane right now. Excuse me. <laughs> Especially since plane shift doesn't include a condition to come back, does it? No, I need a comp <laughs> like regardless of if the doggo sigil counts, I still need another one for here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, you just need an object from that plane, right? Wouldn't any of your gear count? I need something that is specifically attuned to a particular plane of existence that is worth at least 25 Alhictorum golds. <laughs> Is it consumed or? Nope, it's not consumed. Okay. Yeah, in so... sense that's worth that amount is the. Okay. Um, sure. I think Lork's cloak would kind of count because it is a magic item forged on this plane, and definitely worth at least twenty-five gold. I don't really know if it's attuned to this plane though, because it uh, does work. It has uh, shown functionality in others. I can probably, you know ship out an entire magical circle and just hold it with me as I plane shift somewhere else. You could also but... just, like, place a rock and attune it to the plane. Yeah, but that's... I mean, my effort. necklace would work, but I'm not sure if I would want to part with that. Oh, so the necklace do? wouldn't be consumed. Yeah, no, but, like, even taking it off. Ah, uh, I see. It's like, see. Half, half the party doesn't even know that, like, you know, my magic comes from, uh, the claw, which is now part of the necklace. It's an interest. You know, the thing is, this is so much easier once I fully convince the party to come with me. Because then we have the necklace without me having to take it. <laughs> <laughs> this is Hate's real end game. Random thief steals Strunhoff's necklace. Strunhoff, why could. How could you do this? I'm an old man. I only have three hit points now. I'm only. just a witty bitty sorcerer. Our our dinosaur blood uh innate spellcaster is called Sorcerors. Honestly, probably, yeah. I don't know, but I will end you. <laughs> I will choose violence. So uh. Lorik has shrugged as hate casts thaumaturgy walking out of the fountain. Yes. I will also commence yelling at the sky to make them, like, hurry up and give me the information about legend lore. Many of <laughs> the uh, passerbys who are walking in their day-to-day -day lives in the market kind of stop, especially the ones very nearby you, and there ends up being, like, a little bit of an area around you that people just don't walk at for a good like 40 seconds before people actually do start walking by you again is they are people who are not here to hear you yelling at this guy it's fine this is a regular occurrence in hate's life <laughs> <laughs> do uh strunhoff and lork make anything of it no, I'm lork just... is going to say bye because uh, this is becoming a depressingly regular occurrence in his life as well I'm just chilling, watching the spectacle. Hey, you start to feel on the palm of your hand 
a gentle wisping cold, almost like a hand, another hand grabbing you and pulling you along. There's a moment where uh, Kate's like, huh, never let a stranger take you to another location, but she accepts, she accepts the pull anyway. Uh, <laughs> it, uh, surprisingly leads you right up to the church door. Actually, hold on, what day, Lorik, do you happen to recall what day it is? Uh. It should be the 15th today, if I'm not okay. mistaken. Okay, uh, new plan, hold on. Church is in fact open, because it is the 15th. Oopsie. Ta-da. Door is not closed, so they are not pulling you there. Whoopsie. Ooh. Yeah, uh, every fifth day is the, uh, these church days. Oopsie. Lork, you start seeing his hate just kind of holds out the hand and uh, just starts walking. Lork begins to follow kind of cautiously. Schoenhoff observes the same, I presume? Yeah. Hate gets led off to the side. Oh, well. Uh, da -da -da -da. Da, 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 and into a back alleyway where not many people are watching. I'm actually going to leave Slorik behind and make sure that uh, nothing weird happens. Understandable. I can, I can feel through him. <laughs> Indeed. The wisping that was around your hand grows stronger and much more tangible, less ethereal, and starts to direct your hand over towards like where your supplies are, struggling to open it up. I will see what it's, I will sense what it's doing and I will give it active aid and open my stuff. <laughs> it uh, begins to take some paper and writing utensils since you have a writer's kit and begins writing out material on it. You know, expensive paper is. <laughs> mm -hmm. I do. <laughs> I do. Bork is watching with bated breath. I shall go ahead and would you prefer that I read it out to you first and then post it or that I post it and then read it out to you? Clearly, we need to hear your greatest um, sounds of words being written on a piece of paper for um, oh role-playing effect. <laughs> you don't say. Aha! <laughs> I have Damn. done it. The sound of probably graphite, but also could just be coal. Or maybe even just like a lead composite that's like totally toxic and killing you. Uh, on could paper. just be lead that has been steeped in urine for long enough that it turned into white pigment. Honestly, I forgot about that technique. <laughs> I wish I could write right about back. that technique now. Base. Oh, Shunhoff is gone. Do we want to wait for him? You know, uh, I'm fine with that. Okay. Yeah, it'll probably be only a minute or two at most. Indeed. Look at this man. Playing. Hots. Yeah, what the fuck is going on with that? <laughs> see, what the fuck is on with that? Hey, you. Out there in the cold, playing Aram. He's doing what? Bruh. Bruh.
Welcome back. Any luck? Dead. Son of a bitch. Well, I guess we can continue. Okay. Uh, da 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 da. And also in our Hectorum Gamer Info, da 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 da. Would any of you like to read it? I hand it directly to Loric to read. Loric? <laughs> Scarlet Spectre, a feral beast let loose. Freed by those crueler than the worst winter news. By the rule and the seat of the old knight's beauty. In a block just past the gaze of the last king. Finds his lair fortified as his now fled to reign. Be aware and afraid of the darkest true ruby. See, this is exactly what I mean about icons. They can never be relied upon for actually providing information in a usable fashion. Is there a statue of the last king anywhere nearby? And by nearby, I mean on this, you know, giant, giant place that we all call a country. Kingdom. Uh, in the giant Empire. entire place. Yeah, there's probably a statue somewhere of somebody. That's my guess. The more important question is, do you know who the last king is? Hey, no, of course not. I'm not. You think she cares about people who live in palaces other than the fact that she's not one of them? Nah. The last king would have been Baldrun Highstone. Hey, Lorik, would you mind making me a history check? Sure thing. Man's gonna find out that the last place that 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 he ever looked at was All like right. three blocks that's, away. That's actually good enough, luckily for you. Kings oh, and emperors God. are uh, different things. Ah, right. And so this is back when uh, you know Perun was right. a kingdom in smaller. Interesting. I'm probably going to have to thank somebody about this later. <laughs> That's a good term. I like that term. All I can think of is... Jorah Highstone, perhaps? You know what would be the absolute worst use of resources we could possibly do? Hmm. She says this with, like, a near-conspiratorial voice. We could just gather resources to cast this again about the last king. Perhaps, all that necessary? Need 25 gold worth of incense. Mm, this is why I said it was a bad idea. <laughs> also, I... Can we talk about how instead of just, you know, giving us an omen or telling me something, they had to like move my hand to write through me? Like, I... why was it so inefficient? <laughs> and my paper! <laughs> oh, Lothar, I made this connection a long time ago. Could Lorik make some kind of check to put together the, um, like, knowledge about floor two of the dungeon? Okay. What about it? Like, putting together that it is, um, that floor two is what we know it is out of character. I mean, yeah. Yeah. You know that that's, like, Jorah Highstone's team. Okay.
in that uh, one of you may or may not have uh, fucking murdered him as an undead. Fuck. Can you guys get up to some stuff whenever yeah, he you guys steps committed your corner. first regicide on floor two, and you didn't even know it. I didn't do shit. <laughs> you think I would have let them kill undead? I think you were there. <laughs> That's besides the point. <laughs> uh. I think this may have to do with a floor of the dungeon that we went to long, long ago, back before either of you had joined us. Joined us. You know, it has been a while since we went back there, and by we, I mean you guys, including myself. <laughs> To the dungeon as a whole, or the dungeon as a whole, but also probably whichever floor you're thinking of. The dungeon as a whole, we were in there just 14 days ago. Although this specific floor was way back near the beginning of High Sun last year. 14 days is quite a long time. Do you know how many things we get done, we get through in 14 days? When we're not just traveling. Hmm. A fair amount. <sighs> In any case, so, I think it might be prudent to uh, pay the two mail their visit. If it is actually what I think it is. Hmm. Interesting. There's... I can't quite say how I feel about the results of this spell, to be honest. I think it has given us a lot to think about, at least. Out of character, and, uh, are potential. you trash-talking me? No, no, this okay. is in character <laughs> hate trash talking the gods. Okay, okay. A little there. Where would the Tomb of Jorah Highstone be on the map compared to like Tarnos Pem and Jaradad Martivir? Uh, did I not? Is that not in one of the updates? Because I, I have it on my, uh, I have it on my actual like full map, but I don't know if I have it on the map that is publicly posted. Let us find out. Greater Perun, July 20, uh, August 13th. Oh, geez, that's the full PNG, so it's like the eight times size one. Oh. oh, JC, I just realized something. What's up, homie? You have me under stasis gang right now. Oh, that's pretty bad. Let's change that. Also, as I... Hmm. There we go. There we go. There was some mention of there being something related to psionic abominations in Chibalo, wasn't there? Mm. I, as a player, don't remember this. <laughs> Hate might. Nope, it's con it's listed under one of the uh, hidden cities, but I will reveal it okay. to you. I just need to temporarily delete one of them so that I do not reveal more hidden cities. Then I should. Uh, 
copied, closed, posted in player chat. Jeez, that's a long way out of the way. Yes, it is. <sighs> you know, while I'm here, I might as well just uh, actually switch it over to the proper layer and move on from there. Interesting. <laughs> eh. And, uh, hey, do you grew up Near the region, right? Near enough. Would it be accurate to say that the savage, savage kingdoms do, in fact, have a king? Would that be accurate? And Huh. JC, have you established lore for that? I have. I don't recall it immediately off the top of my head, so let me uh, pull it up. Different. I've just been assuming that personally, but I, because you know, it's called a kingdom. Kingdoms, yeah. Although I do have a fake out like that in one of my campaign settings. Nice. Where it's called a kingdom, but it's a full democracy. Intro. Uh. Yeah. Zeron is a king. Yes. The savage kingdom does have. It is currently ruled by Zeron, who is a tiger person. That could be another place worth checking out, although the rest of that doesn't really match up. The distance we would travel for that seems and to be to the west. far larger. Could I encourage the party to understand that uh, public education does exist to a moderate degree, mostly in the form of libraries? This is true. Listen, we're trying to figure out what we can tell on our own as strong, independent people before That's relying true. on the government. Imagine relying on the government. Interesting. You rely on the government, and yet you murder its officials. How peculiar. <laughs> Curious. Look, that was one time, okay, man? It was like three different times. I distinctly remember a member of the government telling us to help him murder another member of the government because he knew we had already murdered members of the government. Mm -hmm. So at least it at least happened twice. <laughs> And I wasn't there for either of them. And I am vaguely aware of what may be a third time, which I was also not there for. I uh, so... was there for one other time. What? Oh, yeah, I was there for at least one of them. I actually called a god. <laughs> <laughs> so would you guys like to detail it? Because I can only think of three, not four. Um, Philip... Mm-hmm. Evas. Yep. Um, Thomas doesn't really count because he didn't technically die, but Rifter did kind of ruin his chances of ever having anything good in his life ever again. Yeah. Understandable. In the fourth? Um... Part, see, part of this is, are we, are we going under arrow... Where it only counts the like highest ranking official in the chain because we've also killed slightly lower than them officials doing okay. stuff. We did also kill uh, Baroness Mars Pira. Yes. Technically. Uh, I could say that Dyer played the significant hand in uh, her death. Yeah. And that's why Rakt has trauma issues. Oh, he has way more issues than just that. <laughs> hey, everything everything relates to his mom in one way or another. Yeah. It's kind of fucked up, really. Yeah, kind of fucked up, really. Mother issues, am I right? 
Yeah. So yeah, I mm. guess we are going to take the filthy government's uh, resources. Now, I like you guys sitting here and coming up with crackpot theories. I enjoy it. Yeah, but we we can read and learn good. Can you? We can read and then come up with even more crackpot theories. Ooh, true, true. <laughs> I don't know about the rest of y'all, but Lork can definitely read. Hey, hey, a nice clergy member taught me how to read, and I call him dad. Aww. It was probably the worst decision he had ever made. Yay for violence. <laughs> yeah, oh, random, random side note. What does undercommon sound like compared to common in this world? I have not put thought into it, and so I will not answer without proper uh, understanding. And it's definitely not just about rats and pizza. I can deny that. (laughs) Means not just New Yorkers? I mean, there's like a little bit of rats, maybe a little bit of pizza, and maybe a little bit of... I'm walking here, but... (laughs) It's definitely mostly not that. Is there a bit of forget about it? Nah, none of that. Cringe. They also just don't say the first consonant in any sentence. I'd imagine it's a fair bit of a, like, almost, not a guttural clicking thing, but one that would very easily resonate through long stretches. It's it's not really meant to be spoken over, and it's very good at echoing and keeping its tone. Such that, it's, out, guys. such that it's very <laughs> well adapted to usage in caves or other underground uh, stuff. All right. Popping out. See ya. See ya. Okay. And then there were two. You see Still Darius. Still a public library. You see Darius leaving as he carries a couple supplies going towards the market area. He is going to perform mercantile activities. At least he's awake. Are you ready to find out who this last king was? I should say so. Some god of knowledge or some trickster deity has decided that they wanted me to go to a library today. Do you understand how upsetting that is? (laughs) There's worse fates. I like being able to choose when I want to learn, and these people (laughs) have decided to take that choice away from me. Well, I could have always chosen not to accompany me to the library. No. No, two heads are usually better than one. Well, shall we? <sighs> Complaining isn't going to make it happen any faster. <laughs> She's... To the library. Head off to the library. You I head to the library. Yeah, yeah library. The library. So, my only question is, which library are you going to? What library has the largest restricted section? <laughs> Probably the one in the uh, Delmar of Stronghold, I would have to imagine. Like the, the stronghold, stronghold, at least or by the like a ratio. Uh, like the stronghold, stronghold. Okay. Like I imagine the uh, as far as ratios go, that one probably has the largest restricted section. So which library in Soju Pem would have a large restricted section? Um, probably the one in the uh, upper city that involves the uh, you know, local rulers, you know, palace. The one where uh, huh. the entire thing is prohibitive to because it's not a public library. 
Man, I really want to go to that library, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I could probably finagle my win using my rank and all that. You know, if you guys want it. to, I can, like, make a basic map for us to goof around on and do that. I'm... Head to the fancy palace library? Of course. I'm of still course. planning on sleeping in that palace one day, so, like... One day. It was low on the to-do list, but now it can be slightly higher if that is something you would like to pursue. One sec. Point is, there's, like, a couple, like, public libraries. There's, like, ones in the mages and stuff. There's ones that's in the, like, more medicine-based stuff. There's one... Like, that's fairly modest in the Dumber of Stronghold, mostly in regards to, like, legal, with a little bit of stuff involving military tactics and training. There's some in the back of the Mercenaries Guild that you've already, like, been at. And there's probably a couple more that are out and about. Let's see if we can finagle our way into the palace. Wow. Let's do it! <laughs> Hate has very few personal goals, and interacting with this palace in many different ways is one of them. <laughs> she doesn't ask the question to herself if this is her innate half-orc heritage that's driving her to pillage and claim others' rightful holdings as her own. <laughs> she just accepts this part of herself. No. <laughs> I guess uh, at this point we just ask Schrunhoff to keep an eye out in case Nox comes back. So once more to the upper city. <laughs> once more to the upper city. You give us a riddle, you give us access to a fancy palace library. I know, I'm the best, yet. aren't I? You give us the ability to get access to a fancy palace library if we so choose, utilizing our ability to interact with people in mostly positive ways. Mostly positive. You interact with people in a positive I'm way? I'm going to ask you guys to role play with each other amongst yourself for just a couple minutes. Okay. We're doing some uh, on the fly. Alright. Sweet. Eight, I do have to ask that you uh, remain inconspicuous during the negotiations. Hate gestures at her hood on her cloak and asks, and like goes half up and is like, do you want it all the way up or do you want it? <laughs> oh no, I'm not talking about the hood. I am rather certain that they would be willing to accept the Sensor Nominus's assistant in this matter. Considering that this could be a matter of Imperial security. Leave the conversation to you. After all, this uh, writ that we received from Paralyn should be rather useful in this regard, I think. Something I've always thought about is it's quite unfair that there's some knowledge kept away from the general public, but I will keep any... Uh, commentary about that between us and not the people that we're going to petition from. Thank you. It would be rather awkward if we were kicked out before we could even make any headway. And we don't want to break into the Imperial Library. Not a chance. Alright, so Remember, like I said... We still have charges on our heads. We don't want to add to those. <laughs> Hate wants to make a comment about how she only has charges through association, but she may <laughs> she holds her tongue. So far. So far, yes. 
I've managed to live my life a half orc in a racist society without getting in trouble with the law until I met you guys. <laughs> Ironic, isn't it? It's an interesting turn of events to think about. That's one word for it. To be fair, I never really thought that I was going to live my life and never see the other side of bars. I just figured that I would leave at my own choice afterwards. Hmm. Which is strange to think about. How would I go about caging myself? Physically, like, physically, regular bars should probably be able to stop me for a decent amount of time, but at this point... Unless they could keep me from casting spells, there's... Huh. So did you guys know that the world building in Skyrim sucks sometimes? <laughs> Speaking of uh, stopping people from casting spells... I love that that quest only, like, that entire quest line of being thrown in jail only is a quest line if you don't use any magic. Yeah. <laughs> like, the fact that there's, like, four parts to the quest just to get yourself a shank, but, like, if you have <laughs> magic, you just use your magic and leave. <sighs> In that case, yes, they do have means of keeping casters from using their magics. In fact, that was one of the things they used on Racked when we turned him in. Oh, I'm certain that they do. It's just more of a thought experiment for myself. How would I hold myself? Although at this point it would probably involve some planar binding spells because I am not currently in possession of any anti-magic abilities. Oh. Hey, do you guys mind if I use the bathroom really quick? I'll be not right at back. all. I need a couple okay. minutes anyway. Thank you. You're good. I can now spend time debating if I add whiskey to the sweet tea or not. Okay, is that actually breaking TOS? No. Okay. You are allowed to drink your... If you are of age, you are allowed to drink. You're just not allowed to do anything excessive. I see. And I assume encouraging it is unwise, if not prohibited? Probably unwise. Especially if you don't have, like, an 18 plus stream. So, um, what I do <laughs> is not an endorsement of what other people should do. Yeah, it's uh interesting going through and looking at some of my uh when I was like prototyping this multiple months ago. Since I never got around to doing it, since I like you know other stuff was more important to prep for. Um, it's interesting seeing how much my techniques have changed. It's a cool sense of growth. One of the strangest things for me is to go back and look at really old notes especially mm -hmm. notes for things i don't remember making like on our like complete in complete seriousness i have a fully functioning avatar of the last airbender hack for pathfinder that i wrote on notebook paper at some point and i don't remember doing it <laughs> I was thinking about my first camp I ever ran, and I'm realizing how much of the shit was just in there, because I'm like, yeah, that's cool. Like, I just, in the middle of a, like, temple in the middle of fucking nowhere, just has a portal that leads to a jungle. Just, just because. Just because oh, it's cool. See, I had a, I, I've learned and changed this about my style, but I used to have this problem where I would hyper fixate 
on one really cool potential, like, big bad evil guy last fight in the campaign event. Right. <laughs> and I'm like, even if... It's like, oh, hey, I can write whatever I want about this setting, but the thing I find the most interesting is, well, if they fail to stop the cultists of the spider goddess, then blah, 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 blah. blah. And I'm like, well... Yeah, cool. That's like fun to like know. <laughs> but when I'm thinking about like five years of real lifetime down the line, <laughs> here's some cool stuff yeah. that might happen. And they're still, you know, in the starter village and haven't even discovered the spider cult yet. I know. Mm. I certainly had that problem when we were co oping working on stuff. It's something that I've learned, at least for myself, I learned it's like, the things that I'm most interested in are not necessarily the most efficient use of my time for, like, game mapping yes. out. <laughs> so, true. it's like learning the balance. Like, what are the things that I'm interested in and what are the things that actually have a direct impact on what's going on <laughs> are, is an interesting skill to learn over time. Hey, Somebody, man. yeah. Somebody once said that writing a story and... Well, someone said world building and writing a story are not the same thing. But I would like to add that world building is not session prep. <laughs> Very fair. I mean, yeah. honestly, like world building is really easy. You just have to cross out all the wrong things. Like, just don't have anything shitty in it. It's that simple. Like you start with a uh, a blank canvas that has literally everything on it, mm -hmm. and then you erase until it. Okay, tangent. It's so weird when I finally learned that sculpting is actually doing that. Like you start with the page full, and then you erase. That's effectively what you do with sculpting. <laughs> yep. Should just about be good for you guys, since I don't want it to be a fully theater of the mind. All right. Oh no, I spilt something. That sucks. I'll have to deal with that later. Keep in mind, if you see any irregularities in the uh, lighting system, it is because I am not even going to go through and uh, proofread it. Or proof check it, because, you know, obviously we're speeding through it. Yeah, screw having lighting that makes sense and works. Mm -hmm. Ooh. I prefer to have my maps be fully made, but the lighting be theater of the mind. Kind of cringe, isn't it? All right. Wait, I don't even have to... That's a that's a thing to another room. I don't even have to make that movable. Oh, yeah. Nice. Alright. And should be good in just a couple seconds. So I know Chad said he had a match tonight, but is that almost done, or...? No idea. But I'm sure that they'll be able to bail you, bail you out when the problems happen. All right. Um, whatever happens, I'm going to blame on Lorik. Honestly, understandable. understandable. Because hate doesn't actually know the difference between compliance and malicious compliance. <laughs> so when she just agreed to not talk, oh boy. Oh, uh, I was trying to figure out how to actually phrase this, but um, Lorik is going to approach the guards and um, essentially try to ask that they grant him and his assistant temporary access to the, li um, to the library in accordance with this writ granted to him by Executor Perlin for research before, you know, heading out to just randomly hunt this person down. 
because they've shown themselves to be a dangerous adversary, and given that this is the largest library in Soju Pem, it might have the information that they need to properly prepare themselves. Okay, I will take that general sentiment. The one on the right kind of steps forward and holds his hand out to look at the writ. Lork gladly um, shows the writ. The guard's clearly a little bit muffed at the situation. He doesn't quite know how to handle it. So he begins to ask his co-mate there to attempt to go in and ask Mr. Man himself as he uh, kind of reaches over and says, oh, Listen, John, would you be so kind to go ask Ersto if he's okay with that? I don't know how to... Um... And the other one at that kind of starts moving into the building. I would be asking if this weren't a vital part of my duties as the censor nominus of of my order. Could you make me a persuasion check? Absolutely. Alright. He, um, he's clearly nervous. He, he, it won't be that he's, like, it's not like his first day on the job, but it's his first time handling something like this. And so he just says, don't worry about him. He said not to, he, he calls back to his other guard. Don't worry about it. He said not to bother him. I'm just fine. And he starts leading you up to the we entrance will... of it. We will take the utmost care with the text within. Thank you. I'm not the one you're going to have to convince of that. The librarian uh, just... He's a bit prickly. Of course. So... As the best ones are. He goes through and unlocks the door. He points forward. Second door on the left up there. Thank you. And Lork does so. Da, 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 da. You guys don't have tokens on this page. So this seems deeply rude. unfortunate. It Why will don't stay you move that... us to a page and we're not done? It will stay that way forever. Oh, holy shit. I know, copy and paste it, right? <laughs> I mean, God, look at me. I'm so good. Look at all the effort I put in in these, like, ten minutes. Holy shit. <laughs> Plagiarism, what the hell is that? All I know is pure, unrefined skill. Hell yeah. Woo! In addition to this, there's multiple different layers, up to about three going upwards, and on each of them there exists a northward section that holds a greater expanse of them, with this just being the most recently used and either uncatalogued or unstored section. Welcome. I haven't seen you before. The librarian says, continuing to peer down at one of the books he's at before stamping it on the side, setting it down, and turning to face the each of you. No. Greetings. I am Nominus Lork, and this is my assistant, Hate. It smiles. Pleasure. Now may I ask what you're doing here? We were granted a writ to pursue a dangerous criminal by Executor Perilin, and... In an attempt to learn more about our quarry and where they may have fled, my assistant here cast a potent divination magic, and the message she received was rather cryptic. We were hoping that something in this library might be of use for helping us discern more useful information, if you're willing to lend us any of that information. He just looks at you for a moment. Willing? 
No, I wouldn't go that far, but I don't m have much of a choice, but... Tell me, when did they start allowing orcs to be aides in the Order? She is not part of the Order, but she is a consultant that I have hired specifically for this task. No, oh, I see. Well, know that, despite your position, should you leave anything out of place... I know it might not seem it from this room, but the rest are maintained to a T, so please do whatever you will to put it back where you get it from. Of course, I wouldn't have it any other way. Go on. Thank you for your time. I assume that this is like the door to the rest of the library? Yeah, and you make your way through. What would you like to investigate for? Um, I think one of us should try and look for, like, some reference to this Scarlet Spectre, and one of us should look for a reference to this Last King. I They're agree. Like... However, I'd like to also add, generally looking up the re what they know about psionics. Right. Actually, a very good point. This is a uh, more private collection, so it could have something. Good something point. of use beyond propaganda? Yeah. So, hey, give me two investigations, Loric one. Okay. And I'm going mm -hmm. off of the order of... So, Loric, which one of them are you doing? Um, Last King. Okay, and then, hey, you're doing Spectre and then um, King? Or, sorry, yes. Spectre and no, then Spectre Psionics. and then... Yes. Yeah. All right. Ooh! Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like nobody wants us to know about Psionics. Despite the Ooh, words asking. that he said there, uh, you guys end up having quite a deal of trouble actually finding much of anything. You end up going through and looking at specters for a little bit hate, but it's not quite the kind of stuff that uh, would be practical for this. One of them's a horror story, and the other one's, uh, let's just say, a little bit untraditional. It's ghost erotica, isn't it? It could be. Is it our lusty ghostian maid? <laughs> it is not. Its uh, title is much more in depth than that. Ah. You understand well, why it's a private collection. <laughs> well, I see we found their smut catalog. Indeed. I don't suppose I have any luck finding anything about The Last King, do I? No, you do not. You don't even find the history section. Oh. There are not I... labels very much of anywhere. Could However, if you were to find a uh, section, you might have better chances. Okay. Um, can I specifically look for the history section? How would you go about doing that? I just said nothing's labeled. Oh, okay. I, I thought you said if you were to look for a section. <laughs> I see. Sorry about that. Um, um, I presumed that your character is looking for one, just uh, apparently okay. unsuccessful. All right, time to cheat. I'm going to smack myself in the face with some guidance. Okay. <laughs> now they get to cheat. There it is. Oh, it has a verbal component. Are you going to break that part? Oh, Oh, wait. Hold on. I'm going to hold... I'm going to take out my writing utensils. I'm going to take out a small section of my ever-dwindling paper supply and write <laughs> down Am I allowed to speak? <laughs> I see no reason why not. Okay. Whew. Great. I'm going to cast Guidance. <laughs> okay, you cast Guidance. Go ahead and give me a reroll. Which one would you like to be uh, doing it for? And we're just going to say it's a real, not adding the stuff. It's just, you know. Okay. I think the most important thing right now is the... Okay, I rolled really high on the Spectre. Um, we might find better... Might have a better odds on, you know, politics and a... Uh... 
dude's library. All right. So you guys want to go with the king? Yeah. Go for it. So does that mean I re-roll investigation then? or Either or, since you guys are both okay. zeros. We're the worst right. people to have about this. You do, in fact, end up finding the history section and specifically one detailing the chronological orders of the people of the Empire. Of that, you learn a little bit more about its history. The first one to really yeah. start having it be less of a kingdom and more of an empire was Kara Highstone all of those years ago. However, despite because of her short reign, she was never able to really solidify it as a proper legal code to be a empire. Mm. And Shirilla, despite having been around for a very long time, he quite was quite attached to the idea of it being a kingdom. He didn't feel comfortable attempting to build that distancing to a lot of the heritage in the past that now has been mostly forgotten. And so it wasn't until Garkheim Volstrom that the it officially legally ended up transferring from the idea of it being a kingdom to that of an empire. Because Shirla had made very explicitly attempts to keep it as a kingdom and even though the rest of the legal system was ready to push forward into being an empire he throttled any attempts to do so so as soon as Garkheim took over legislation quickly moved through and ended up officially becoming an empire setting up the triple system that's established today well if it's just past the gaze of the last king then that if this is correct, would imply that that it's somewhere in the Volstrom territories, which, given the direction of the teleportation, would imply either initial destination of Kosvin or Runeweld. What do you think, Kate? Before I answer that, I'm going to smack myself in the face with another guidance and actually go for the uh, psionics. That's spicy. Come on, rolls! Nope! Rolls! They are rolling, in fact. Psionics rolling. are psionics, and very restricted. Much more restricted than his smut catalog, at least. <laughs> There's two guards that are staring at us, and I'm like 80% certain that they that the psionics are right behind them, but I don't want to walk over there. Okay, so that is where you guys entered from. Those are the two, like, doors. Oh, yeah. Um, and you guys are also probably on, like, the second or third floor. Okay. So there probably and are Lork still is... guards, but only, like, one on each floor. Lork has been making sure to put every book back after he finishes leafing through it. A wise choice. He has made sure to treat these books with delicate and the utmost care, as though they were the historical text of a long-lost religion. Which she is understanding the cost be. of the paper. <laughs> I'm very upset. Like all of the all of the paper used in this room. You know how expensive all of this is. <laughs> And imagine just a little bit of rain gets through the ceiling and poosh. So sad. Very you should sad. see how much paper is used in the Auspicia's records. Okay, I just had an idea about that. Um, and I think it fits very well. You know that side room in Hades where all the legislation is done? Yeah, the yeah. administrative chamber? Yeah. I'm imagining it's kind of like that. <laughs> Oh god. <laughs> yeah, that would be uh one uh... God, that would be hellish to sort through. <laughs> yes, it would. There's an entire mean, cast not... dedicated to it. I mean not cast. There's an entire like clan of it dedicated. Mm -hmm. Well, branch, like, that's the term. branch. Branch. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. There's an entire branch of the order devoted to it. So, yeah, it is. <laughs> Me is really wishing that instead of preparing plane ship, that prepared conjure celestial and just have one show up and be like, "Hey, 
Find us these books. No. <laughs> um, having found this, um, Lork would like to attempt to uh, find any references to the so-called darkened true of Ruby. Okay. If that's anything that is actually a thing. You may. Another investigation? Yes. Nah. <laughs> What's a ruby? What is a ruby? A this is a jade kingdom. Secret. So, uh... What is a ruby? A wonderful web show that went downhill in its later years. Man. It really does suck that Monty, like, you know... Biffed yeah. it? Yeah. Wow, that's kind of rude. Not gonna lie. I said that because my brain was like, "What's a what is an achievement hunter slash rooster teeth way that they say died?" Damn, and that is kind of you know what that is actually kind of fair. That I wonder if he'd appreciate that. I think he actually might. It's a good thing. Like, he wouldn't want to, you know. It was anyway. quite. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. Let's get off that. Oh. We may not have found everything we were looking for, but I think we're better off than we were previously. Let's put the last couple books back and thank the librarian for his time. We are absolutely going to have to explore some more libraries in the territories we go to next. Nice Lore stuff. has a interesting way of being closer to the actual events. As you thank him, he says, I trust everything was satisfactory. Aye, thank you. We have a clearer idea of where this uh, portent was leading us. A much clearer idea, in fact. Thank you. Of course. And he just kind of gestures his hand to the doorway and gives a gentle bow. And... Lorik leaves, trying not to disturb anything else in his path. Mm, very wise, yes, very wise. It has the maximum amount of willpower that a humanoid can have, and is exerting all of it to not just <laughs> shake the room. <laughs> <laughs> this is the part where I'm very glad that it's just a duo session right now, so that shenanigans do not occur. Wait. Can you imagine the shenanigans that would have aganned if we had, like, Rifter here? Oh, and, uh, God! Was, did Shunoff just leave his roll 20 on, or was that, um... I think so. Okay, I wasn't sure if he just rejoined. To the oh, player. yeah, he's been here the whole time. Oh, okay. come. You return to the square. I assume... No, we're just going to immediately book it to uh, Cospin without the rest of the party. Honestly, kind of based. <laughs> based on what, though? Based on the technology that's inside it. Anyway. Yeah, yeah. Um, you have we... a moderate amount of information now. Do we want I'm... a session since literally nobody else is here? And you we guys have are here? Anything? Hey, Lorik, a very quick question. Do you mind Letting me smack you in the breastplate with this new Warhammer. I'm sorry, can you repeat that? I think I'm. You absolutely heard you. exactly what I was asking. Um, I don't want to hit something I don't trust to be able to survive whatever nonsense happens when I use this. And oh, we both okay. have far more healing than. Necessary in case anything goes awry. Well, I may survive, but this breastplate may not. It is non magical. Ooh. Well, you could just take it off. Perhaps it would be better if you instead hit my shield. You know, fair enough. That would also work. I've only had that enchanted for God's know how long. Just to clarify, you guys are in a public space. Yeah, yeah. Um, with yeah, no, about, I'm not about like, to here. people like walking around in just this like area alone. No, we're not about to pull some like 
random shonen anime moment where we just ignore our surroundings and start fighting each other in the middle of the square. I assume that this is hate asking for when we actually get on the road. <laughs> I see. Although, I would say that there might be an interaction between the magic of your shield and whatever was causing this thing to ignore magic. I don't really know. This is my first experience with actually successfully she mimics casting <laughs> stone shape. <laughs> then again, the fact that this thing is dead and was affected by your magics in that sense should mean that it's whatever it had is at least greatly diminished. That is a fair point. The worries of testing out new equipment when you have absolutely no idea what it's going to do. Though I'm still not exactly the greatest proponent of using an abomination as a material like that. I understand. That seemed to work. Had to do it anyway. Yes, that absolutely seems to work. Then shall we go out and experiment now while the rest of the party is busy partying and doing things and being busy? Experimentation. Yeah. I could always check on the cart and the steed while we wait. Maybe wait for Darius. I did tell him that I intended to see if he could cast that spell today. I assume you head there, then? Yeah. Go on, let's take it to outside of the town borders. Oh, hey, guess who's still here? Nope. (laughs) Nope. (laughs) Nope. Um, nope. There it is. Done. Well, see what you can do with this. Lorik raises his shield and is kind of bracing himself for impact. Hate, give me an attack roll with advantage. Hey, I'm just going to click on my actual Warhammer for that, by the way. I'm not too handing it, even though I don't have my shield up. Yep. There we go. Go. <laughs> All right, Lork. What is your AC? Uh, twenty-one. Okay. It even with that little bit, it glances off slightly, and you feel like it's not a good hit. Come on, try again. Stationary target, and I'm I'm just thinking here to myself, like, man, it would be real great if all this magic wasn't interfering. <laughs> Don't worry about hurting me. Just. Make an actual hit. We got this. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Don't worry about hurting They actually you. work. Hate immediately is like, oh yeah, and then just golf swings the man. <laughs> so you see that as like she strikes down on your shield, it kind of sends a bit of a ripple through the shield onto you for a moment, Lork, and in about half a second. Hate kind of has sparkles on her and then stops having sparkles on her for like only like a second or so. For you, Hate, you see as he's kind of knocked back a little bit about a foot and he kind of just moves really slowly for a couple seconds before coming back and like you look down and your hands are sparkly for a good like six seconds. All right, so I'm going to stare. I am, before attempting to analyze the things that went on, going to use my unlimited cantrip of guidance. And I'm going to try and see if I can figure out just 
through the general magical properties in around me. And I'm, that's an argument for what the sparkles were doing, you know, since I also know that that was apparently how it had its magical resist, how its magical resistance seemed to work. And so, uh, what other spells do you have for like investigation or things? Well, I'm like, glad how, that you how are asked. you actually like attempting to analyze the magic of it? Just like, I am so glad that you asked. I am just comparing it to the effects of my spells I to see. myself. Okay. I'm not actually analyzing it with magic. I'm like trying to go through my own catalog of spells I can buff myself with to see vaguely what this is like. I see. Well, as soon as you cast Guidance, you notice that the spell fails and the sparkles disappear. Well, that was an immediate answer to my question. <laughs> guidance, helping me out as quickly as possible. Um, Hate looks up at Lork and says, Before I say anything, what was that like for you? Oh. Saw you hit, I felt the impact through the shield, and I saw you glow very briefly when you actually hit. Briefly. Oh, how brief would you say? Oh, how brief would Lork say, probably? Like, two seconds or so? Yeah, two seconds sounds about right. Lore conveys that information to hate. Interesting. I would have counted closer to six. Or at least long enough for me to get off the guidance cantrip, which then failed, by the way. Hmm. Seems you might have been a bit... <laughs> it might have slown you down... I don't think anything around me seemed to have changed their speed relative to me when I hit you. <laughs> and then I cast the spell that failed, which could have meant that I gained some sort of magical resistance. a curious situation for sure. It's looking down at the the beautiful, beautiful hammer in front of her and um, like stops for a second, looks back at Lorik, and she's not like, at no point does it cross her mind to uh, strike the man again. That That's besides the point. But she's also very like curious if this was like a him or... <laughs> Like, hitting against his magical shield, or just a thing that happens when she hits with it. <laughs> well, I guess we can determine the effects more accurately when you actually get to use this in combat. Vaguely of the opinion that it is not likely to explode on me, so... I'm sure that I can risk it in a combat. Oh, uh, by the way, sorry, can you roll me 2d8, hey, 2d8 plus 2? Plus whatever your strength is. And 2d8 plus 2 plus my strength mm -hmm. modifier? That's a whole ass yeah. 3. There you go. There you go. Lork, you also took 11 damage. Would Divine Veil have had any effect on that? If I attempted to use it? I don't know. Do you want to attempt to use it? Yes, for science. Can you press the button? Right. So if it works, I would take eight, eight less damage. It does. Okay. You take three. The damage output so much higher. It's 2d8, my dudes. So happy. <laughs> then you would have an extra d8 from Divine Strike, wouldn't you? I mean, yeah, but I have to activate that. 
Yeah, it is optional, right? It's not required? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Wait, is there any cases of, like, a type of damage that's required on an attack you make that can't be turned off? And so, like, you can't say I'm doing non-lethal damage because some of the damage will be lethal anyway? Um, I... Th There's gotta Last be, right? time I checked, um, I'm just double-checking this right now, but I'm pretty sure that, um, backstab is an if then statement and not an optional Ooh, so backstab could create a condition where you can't take a hostage that's what i'm uh, checking right now. Is just additional damage to the weapon oh yeah it is oh like... wait no 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 you're right it does specify that it like copies the type of damage so if you're declaring it as non-lethal yeah. damage then that would be um, non-lethal yeah. damage oh and non-lethal is just a tag for the specific attack not for the damage type i'm pretty sure it specifies it on damage because it can only be declared on melee attacks. Regardless of the damage type. Oh, no. Sneak attack does say can. Okay, okay. Anyway. Right. Yeah. You guys are sitting a good distance away from the nearest building at the stable. Not about to go murder some random horses. Hey, oh. vague. <laughs> the horsey. You know, I think that the others should be more punctual if we were on our way to hunt down a dangerous scion. You think greatly of people. I tend to. Take the argument that unless it's actively life-threatening, people are going to forget the importance very quickly. If you want to round up the others, I will try to get the steed hitched to the cart. If we can't think of anything else, are we just calling scene there then? I think yeah, so. I, I do um, want. Oh, oh I want to clarify very quickly. Was it two d? Is it two d eight regardless of if I'm holding it in one or two hands? No. Okay. I is it is it two d six in one hand and two d eight in Look two hands? You. Okay. Very clever. Okay. Just wanted to make sure. <laughs> I'm still calling it crazy. Would you like to describe a little bit more now that you had time to think about how it looks? How the wood has ingratiated itself within the stone skull? So I like to imagine that the wood itself, what, because I was using stone shape, I wasn't actually modifying the wood you see there were bits of the stone of the like stone skull that warped to like intertwine itself into the wood nice. to make it a more reinforced and so is it that more of like a uh staff almost where it's just a skull on a pike essentially or is it actually more of like a hammer i think i i want to say i like would have flattened out the edges just a bit to make it a bit more hammer like but it's also probably one of the, like, smaller hammerheads in total. Got it. Because just to, like, a proper Warhammer instead of, like, fantasy Warhammers. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. A war pick. Do you know how much it bothers me? I, I That, like, if you search just Warhammer, you only get 40k stuff. Yeah. In, like, <laughs> yeah. In, like the fantasy like, Warhammer. Yeah, you either get 40k or, um... Age of Sigmar. I just learned to... Oh, is that what it's officially called? Mm -hmm. Yep, the fantasy stuff is Age of Sigmar. I just learned to search, like, Maul or War Pick. Even though it's not the same thing. I mean, it's been six months since we've had a follower. That's weird. Yeah. Either that or my thing's just not updating. Anyway. It thanks for showing up. Yeah. Audio stream. We will have to call everyone else cowards. Indeed. I'm glad Schoenhoff got to show up for a while. Yeah. I enjoyed I'm it. I'm glad I got to have that conversation with him. Gotcha.
Yeah, peace.